Welcome back to another 5-Minute Friday. You didn't ask for it, but you told me you loved it, so here we go. If you're running low on drive space, in today's video, I'm going to show you four easy ways to clear up some space on your computer. Now, on this channel, I talk about the what and the why before the how. So if you want to skip ahead, I'll put that timestamp right here for you. Also, please know that if you are watching this on TikTok, it is stolen content. Someone has taken all of my YouTube videos, uploaded it on TikTok. I don't see any of the comments. I don't get any of the revenue. The channel has nothing to do with me, so please be aware of that. Hey guys, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for almost 35 years now, and what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, make sure you check out my channel library because I've got a ton of videos that you might be interested in. Also, one of the things that I love doing is if you're in the market for a new computer, I love making recommendations for those of you who just really aren't sure where to even start. There is a link in the description, a quick form, fill that out, send it to me, and I will laser focus and find you exactly what you're looking for. 100% free, and I'm happy to do it. Now let's get our timer started and start clearing up some drive space for you. Now this one may seem like a no-brainer, but most of you have a general idea of where all your stuff is stored. Most people have a ton of stuff downloaded in their downloads folder, so I would first go into there and remove anything that you don't need. Also, other folders like videos and pictures usually have a ton of stuff in there as well. What I would do is go into each of these folders that have a ton of stuff and change the view to details and then sort by descending, which is going to put the largest stuff at the top. And then if you need to see what's in there, you can change the view back to thumbnails or icons. And then if you're not 100% sure, you can just open those larger files, see what they are, and when you realize that you don't need them anymore, just delete them. That will clear up a ton of space and also help keep your computer a little more organized. Your second option is to use the built-in cleanup utility in Windows. If you just search for the word cleanup from your search bar, you will see disk cleanup at the top of that list. Once you see that, go ahead and click it and you will see it's going to prompt to scan your C drive. Just click OK, and then you're going to see a list of all the stuff that is safe to delete off your computer. As a general rule, I would check everything except Recycle Bin, because a lot of people tend to put stuff in the Recycle Bin that they really don't mean to delete. So if you check all of that stuff, you can see right to the right how much storage space you will free up. You can also click on Clean Up System Files, and what this does is it goes through temporary downloads, Windows updates, all kinds of things in the back end. Not your stuff, but stuff that Windows has downloaded that's just cluttering up your computer. And again, I would check everything but Recycle Bin, and then you can see how much storage space you will free up right here. Third option for you is to go into your installed apps and see what is taking up the most space. A lot of times you may have installed programs that you don't even use anymore. So if you go into settings and under apps and installed apps, you can see the entire list of programs that you have, but you can choose to sort by size largest to smallest. And this will give you an opportunity to go through and go, you know what, I don't need that anymore. And if you find a program like that that's taken up a bunch of space, then you can just simply click the three dots to the right and uninstall. Now it's a little different in Windows 10, but the concept is the same. And once you go through this entire list of things that you know for a fact you don't use anymore, you will in fact free up space on your computer. One of my favorite ways to free up space, especially when it's hidden, is to use this program called Winderstat. 100% free, I'm not sponsored by them, just wanna tell you about it. If you go to winderstat.net, on the left side you have the option to download, just click on that. Now go ahead and install and open the program, and then you're gonna see this interface right here. It's got multiple options, so you can select a specific folder on your computer if you know where a bunch of stuff is. You can even check and scan for duplicates inside a drive or a folder. In this case, I'm not worried about duplicates. I'm just going to scan the C drive to see what is taking up the most space on my computer. Select OK and let it go. And you're going to see this visual interface right here. And what it's doing is it's going through and it's looking to see what is taking up the most space. Naturally, your user folder is going to be the biggest culprit because that's where all your stuff is. But you can click the plus sign next to the users and then drill down into your user profile and see what is taking up the most space. As you can see here, you've got program files, program files, x86, all the Windows stuff. You don't want to mess with that. What you want to do is focus on the users folder and then click the plus sign next to the profile that you are using. And that's going to show you where all the space is being taken up. As you can see, it shows by size the biggest culprits. In this case, the downloads folder, you can click the plus sign next to it and it will show you all those downloads. You don't have to go through them one at a time. If you want to get rid of all the stuff you've downloaded, you can just right click and empty folder and that will 
free up all that stuff that you've downloaded, sometimes six, seven, eight copies of stuff. That will free up some space, or you can select them individually and permanently delete them or send them to the recycle bin. You can go through these and this will free up a ton of space on your computer because this is the biggest culprit for most people. They download stuff, they download multiple copies of stuff, they forget about it and it just eats up space. This is a great way to free up space on your computer for free. Just be careful going into documents and pictures and videos because that is stuff that generally, if you don't have it backed up somewhere, once you delete it, it's gone. And then once you're done, you can go and click the refresh button up at the top and it will give you refreshed results on how much space is being used on your computer. And you can also go back to this PC on your computer to see how much drive space you now have free. So I hope today's edition of 5 Minute Fridays was helpful for you. If you managed to clear up a lot of disk space, let me know down in the comments how much you freed up. By the way, thank you guys so much. We just hit 300,000 subscribers and we're on our way to 400. If you found value in this content, make sure you hit subscribe below and help us get to that point. As always, thank you so much for watching and we will see you in the next video.